It's funny how I had to go out of town to find the elusive Hermione Granger action figure. Part of McFarlane's Harry Potter line of toys, I found her in the wild at Harley's Toys and Comics in Tucson, Arizona. Looking through Target and the Walgreens in my town, it kind of sucked not being able to find her. But she's here now, so let's take a look. McFarlane recreated the Hermione from Deathly Hallows Part 2, and the likeness to Emma Watson is pretty good, and the detail in her outfit perfectly captures her attire from the film, with her pink hoodie and all Levi attire. When compared to my NECA Order of the Phoenix Hermione, both are significantly different. NECA's Hermione has long curly hair with interesting highlights as well as the Hogwarts school attire with Gryffindor tie, button down cardigan, pleat skirt, brown tights, and black loafers. It's a good look, that iconic look. McFarlane's new Hermione has her hair tied back and rocks the on the run look. You know, jeans, pink hoodie, running shoes, you know, relatable fashion for when you're taking on the Dark Lord. But again, the real magic is in the likeness to Emma Watson herself. Compared to NECA's Hermione, the articulation in McFarlane's is much better, but the articulation also could be a lot better. I mean, compared to his other toys, her movement isn't the best, and it kind of feels really, really hard to place at times. I feel like I'm going to break the toy. But she does come with a cool accessory, which is her little otter Patronus, and I'm all for that. Really, I'm just psyched to add Miss Granger to my collection. She can now take her place among my other favorite female figures. But she's so much more than a love interest, or a sidekick, or a femme fatale. She's a hero, the brightest witch in the wizarding world. And though the narrative is about one, Harry Potter, the real MVP of the series was, is, and always will be Hermione. Not only was she there for emotional support, but without her, Harry would have been helpless. Though Harry was the boy who lived, Hermione was the witch who made sure the boy kept on living. She is an awesome character. Her bravery, loyalty, and kindness make her one of the greatest characters ever made. This can lead to many in the fandom to therefore ship her with one Harry Potter himself. And I won't lie, I'm right there with them, wanting to see what could have been. But the honest truth is that Hermione can exist outside of Harry Potter. I want to see just how far she can fly.